continuing in the mm, series of finding sides and angles of a right angle triangle using Soka Toa. Uh, this is the third uh, video in the same series. Okay, so yeah, as I've discussed in the previous videos, I would like you to go over these steps, okay, which I call the steps of success or in short SOS. First is label the sides and angles, decide whether to use Soka Toa, which of them, apply the formula correctly and calculate. Okay, so let us look at the next example. So first we need to label. So I'll label this as theta. Okay, so if I change, let me label this as alpha. Okay, so say so this is alpha. Okay, and this is your hypotenuse. And this is your. So for this angle, this is the opposite. So this is the adjacent angle. So adjacent side, or it's the angle side. The side which sits with the angle is called A. So I have to decide this formula, that is ka, and the next is apply the formula. To apply the formula, it's always good to cover up what you want to find. So I want to cover up A because I want to find A. So what is that you can see? You can see C and H sitting nearby together. Okay, so they are close friends, so they would like to be multiplied. So I can say A is what underneath this black box a is equal to c times h so let me write so a would become c stands for cos alpha in this case times hypotenuse so let us substitute or calculate which is x is equal to cos 42 times hypotenuse is 8. So now I can't do, you if you, in some schools, you may not have an electronic calculator, but you may have to look at, look up in a table, in a cost table. So, but most of your schools may be allowing you to use a electronic calculator. So this is, this calculator is called a graphic calculator. So I go cost 42, times 8 is the answer and I want to round it to two decimal places so it is 5.945 so if you want to round it to the second decimal place you have to look at the third decimal place which is pi and so if you if it is 5 6 7 8 or 9 you have to round up the second decimal place so it's 5.95 and the answer is x is equal to 5.95 this is in two decimal places so this is accurate up to two decimal the second decimal place okay one more question here again the same thing first let me label this a beta okay, so that you are family with different Greek letters so this is your O and this is your A so which trig ratio should I use? Okay, I think you can give a smiley face to this. So I'm going to use, put a smiley face with Toa. Okay, and now I want to find O, so I need to cover up O. If you cover up O, what should you do? Okay, so let me draw a line here. So O is equal to T times A. And O is O, and T stands for tan beta, yeah, times A. A is A. Okay, so let us substitute now. So X is tan beta. Beta is 35 degrees times A is 12. So let me get the calculator out. Again, I have to change the setting to degrees. So menu degrees and then 1035 times 12 will give me the answer which is 
because here the third decimal place is 2 so you don't have to do anything to the second decimal place so but you have to write the 0 because you're rounding to the second decimal place so x is 8.40 zero we are writing because we are rounding it to the second decimal place okay we are doing quite good so let me move on now let me do one example of angle again you have to go through the same process of labeling deciding applying and calculating okay ldac this is, these are the steps of success same approach first label this is already labeled so you are here you, this is your opposite that's right and this is your hypotenuse okay so here we want to find theta so here which formula will you use okay you got so ka toa okay so we know so i'll give a smiley face to sorry i'm going to give a smiley face to so okay so now to write the formula, we want to find S. So let me cover up. Let me cover up S. S, because why we're covering up S is because angle is always related with sine, cos, or tan. So can I write now sine theta? Sine theta, how do you read the formula? It's O divided. They are sitting one o or the other o is on top of a so always start with o because o is on top of a o is dominating okay that's how you remember okay it's not domination <laughs> it's o divided by h okay now you have to i'll show you one very cool technique so now if you want to get rid of this sign you have to do the sign inverse of that Okay, so so let me write the next step. So sine theta. So what is my O? O is 19 divided by, and what is my H? 26. The next step is I want to get rid of this sine. Now to get rid of the sine, you have to do the opposite of sine, which is sine inverse. In some um, places, they call arc sine. But in most of the calculators, you have this not this key on your calculator, or sine inverse of sine theta. This sine inverse and sine will cancel each other. So if you take sine inverse of one side, you have to take the sine inverse of the other side. I'll explain this on a calculator. Okay, so if you have a gra electronic calculator or graphic calculator. So let me change my setting to degrees first. Okay, I'll show you. Now see, this is the shift key, shift, sign. This is called sign inverse. Of, say, sign 30, if I do, if I enter, the answer would be 30. Okay. Now what's happening in the calculator? Sign inverse and sign are opposite of each other. So they cancel each other out. If you have learn square and square root they are opposite of each other suppose i'll show you the square root of phi squared will give you phi why because square and square root are opposite of each other in the same way sine inverse and sine are opposite of each other so to get rid of this sign you have to take sine inverse so if you take sine inverse of one side you have to take the sine inverse of the other side that's the logic so what i have done I have taken sine inverse of this side, so to take the sine inverse of this side. So what happens? This and this gets cancelled in the next step. So theta is sine inverse of 19 divided. So again, get a calculator out. This is just to explain that's why we need to take sine inverse. So you go shift sine bracket 19 divided by 26. Many students don't know why they have to take sine inverse. They are only told that you have to take sine inverse to get the answer. But the reason is sine inverse is the opposite of sine. So that will give you the answer which is 46.95. I think you have to round it to the nearest degree 
So this is if you round it to the nearest degree, it is 47 degrees. So let me see the question. Nearest degree, yeah. So the answer is 47 degrees. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, let me do one more question here so that, yeah, let me bring this. So the same thing, you have labeled the, you have to label the sides. Again, this is opposite and this is hypotenuse. Okay, so again, you have to use sine. So I'll say, uh, I'll go uh, over this very fast. So sine theta is O divided by H because you're dealing with O and H. So sine inverse of sine theta. Sine inverse, so let me do it in short. So directly I can write theta is sine inverse of O, which is 22 divided by 29. So let me calculate my calculator out. So menu one. sine inverse so shift sine bracket 22 divided by 29 close the bracket that is 49.3 so that's 49 degrees so my answer is theta is 49 degrees see you in the next video